Braun Pierzynski, Kratz, Kipnis, and Blue Jays All-Star Whit Merrifield back with us. Whit, how you doing, man? And did you see the Acuna clip from yesterday? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, doing good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was something. Dude, your thoughts? So, for us, we just kicked it around for the last 10 minutes. I mean, you had multiple fans going after him. So, have you ever been in a spot like that? Like, even in South Carolina days where someone – hops the fence, and if you were Acuna, would you have stiff-armed him and maybe floored him so that he's not hugging you and using you as a human shield? Yeah, uh, it's fun to sit back and think what you would do in that situation. I'm a football ex-football player, um, so I, you know, I, I can think about what I would like to do if someone kind of came at me. I've never been a part of anything like that. I've seen streakers and stuff like that, but never somebody come up to – player on the field with the purpose of hugging him i don't know what he was trying to do t- taking a picture with him uh i'm not sure what that was about but yeah it was uh it was it was interesting. ex-football player so i mean come on that was like a humble brag like do you feel like you need to say that because last time we said that you yeah. were a smaller guy well I, I guess i guess i was saying that like i i, I love football and i love I would like to have the opportunity to spear somebody on in the outfield um, now that I'm uh, a bigger man than I was when I was uh, when I was a man. You are. I feel like I'd have to, be, be careful. I wouldn't, have, because, I wouldn't have to dominate <laughs> so much, you know. Hey, be careful with because there's going to be like some fan that hears this and he's going to say, "No, right, let's." I know people are stupid out there. The people are not the smartest people in the world about stuff like this. And it's like. I want to take him on. There's going to be some dude who's going to get – he's going to run on the field and he's going to get, like, in a three-point stance and be like, let's go. And we're nope. going to say, all right, well, fuck you. I am playing left field tonight. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's going to – Bitches, let's go. Yeah, it's in Toronto. They're in Toronto, though. Not, no, that's the whole thing. They don't even – Toronto, they don't, they don't really – they have different football up there. They wouldn't – yeah. 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 They have some hockey guys, though, that like to do stuff like that just, just for fun. Yeah, exactly. Well, the like, so one fan – They're great. One one fan said, um, AJ Early said, players are also probably scared to react because of the suspensions, like when the NBA suspended all the Pacers players, costing Indiana a shot at the championship. That's different. I remember the malice at the palace. That was, that was different. incredibly different. Dude, and with all due respect, stands. yeah, they went in the stands and started full-on brawling with fans. And I remember it was it Jermaine O'Neal just like absolutely smashed a dude in the face on the court. So I think that's very different from a fan or, or multiple fans coming at you to attack you in my mind. I don't think like, do you think players would be afraid to react to a fan if they're coming after them? I feel like that's the one time that you can actually defend yourself. Yeah. I mean, we have our, our security meeting at the beginning of, of spring training with MLB securities and everything. They always uh, encourage us to avoid any people that come on the field, you know, kind of at all costs. Cause you don't know what they've got, if they've got a knife or a weapon on them or something like that. So, um, they tell us to stay steer clear of them. So it's that that's kind of what we're taught to do. And I think um, that's probably smart. They're not going to know where to get you because they're like, oh, I'm going to go get wit. Uh, is he playing left? No, not left. I, I got to run to second base. Oh, wait, what, what position is he playing now? Third base. How's it? How's that going? Are you going to are you going to give it a go now that Chappie's down for a little bit? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, they told me yesterday just to kind of take some reps over there and, and be ready in case uh, that was a need. Um, I think I played. I think I played a four or five games there my rookie year. Um, a little bit in the minor leagues, some in college. So it's uh, it's it's hidden in there somewhere. Some of that, some of those reps. I just gotta. You get more. You get more sore when you play like different positions. You get sore different ways. I was talking to somebody yesterday. Standing at first base, their back, like their lower back starts to tighten up. And he's normally an outfielder. So do you go through that or are you, are you a stud? Um, the, being in the, in the outfield on the turf here in Toronto um, can, can get me a little bit. But um, besides that, I mean, not really. Wait, what does your uh, pregame routine then look like when you have to prepare for all these positions? How how do you kind of balance or find – how do you judge and balance your time before or during BP where you got to get reps at five different positions? Yeah, at this point in the year, it's, it's a lot more uh, toned down. Um, I like what we do here where 
we uh, we do our infield work before BP. So that way, you know, while BP is going on, you don't have to worry about dodging balls uh, while you're trying to say ground balls. So we, we get that stuff done 10 minutes before BP. And uh, so I'll, I'll do that. If I'm playing second base, I'll get out there once a series and get and get my work in. Um, but come late August, early, early September, uh, try to do your best to conserve the energy that you can. So, um, But the third base thing, yeah, I got out there yesterday and, and took – uh, took around balls for 10 minutes or so and I'll uh, probably do it again um, today or tomorrow just to just to kind of make sure I got that throw down uh, it's a longer throw than I'm used to making on the infield so I just got to get comfortable with that comfortable with timing and um, at the end of the day you field it and throw it so that's, that's really do you, what it comes do, you, do, you, do you mostly just prepare with what you're going to be playing that day if you're going to conserve your energy just whichever you're yeah. going to line up for that day yeah, yeah, that's basically what it is. If I'm playing outfield, um, really, if I'm playing outfield, I consider it a little bit of a of an off day for me. I just take BP, uh, especially here on the turf. I don't, I try to stay off the turf as much as I can. Uh, so, infield is when I get my defensive work. Outfield, I just, I just kind of take the hit in that day. Do you do mostly the first day of new series? Like, if you're, that's what I would do. I think if you're yeah. outfield or infield, you got a new field. Go check how the wall, how the ball bounces off the wall in the outfield, what the dirt's like at this new place, and kind of get used to it. The first days are usually the most important of the series to get your work in, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, and really the first days now are, are the days that I'm on the field. Um, at this point, I don't. After the first day, I usually stay in the cage. Um, I don't get on the field for BP. So the first day is when you feel the field out. Um, Get a gauge for where you're playing. Get get your reps in, and then get off your feet. Hey, Wade, uh, I know you're a South Carolina guy. Idalia, the hurricane is on its way. Scott's about to experience his first hurricane Stop in Orlando. Stop saying that. It's I'm, true, but I, it's it's going to hit Florida <laughs> and then it's go up to South Carolina. So does this mean there'll be no more frog stomping from your wife because it'll all be washed away by all the rain that's coming? I hope so. I hope it. Well, we're in North Carolina, so I hope it. Oh, okay. Way up there, um, but no, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't heard about this. I followed it uh, being up here in, I guess, the north. That family hasn't said much to me about it, so I didn't know there was a hurricane coming. So this is news to me. I yeah, need it's to... a big one too. Is it? Right. It's gonna 125. They're saying when it hits Florida. What's oh, the geez. name of this one? Idalia. Who like, comes Idalia? up with these names? I don't know, but I didn't realize that AJ is locked in on this thing. Oh, man, I love him. AJ's got every TV <laughs> on the Weather hey. Channel right now. He is, like, looking. Oh, oh, it just went a little. It wobbled. You well, it just went a little north, northwest. It wobbled. It wobbled. Yeah, I don't know the play-by-play. -play. That's you. Wobbles. I don't call games anymore, so you got to do that for me. <laughs> People, get into it. People get into that hurricane track and stuff. Um, maybe when I'm done playing, I'll have that. Much time to, to develop a hurricane track and hobby. <laughs> trout, <laughs> exactly. There you go. Hey, trout. Trout loves weather. That's his big thing. I don't love weather, but yeah. when a hurricane's coming, you got to stand back. True. True. I tell you what, hey. being in the higher leagues, yeah. I became a great weatherman and, and trying to figure out when we were going to get hit by rain, if we were going to have a window, and uh, how like banging we it for our game to get banged. Yeah, <laughs> we all got a window. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a trust me. When it doesn't change when you retire, because I'm calling games. I got all I got twelve weather apps on my phone. I'm like this the whole time. Okay, well this app says we got a window. This app says no. This one says yep. All right, and then you're like oh, and then the other day they canceled it in Cleveland. We were like yeah, just like players. Yeah, we got canceled. We're bad. We go to dinner. <laughs> dinner night. Yeah, yeah, but then you got a double header. But, Not yeah. me. You guys do. I don't yeah, have shit. Yeah, right. I'm out of there. Y'all do. <laughs> they don't reschedule the Fox game for the next day. Oh, you're saying for TV? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I always said if you could bottle the energy that you have, like, in the shower and after when they say games bang, I w I'm like, if you could bottle that energy, man, dudes would never be tired. But then the like, doubleheader comes the next day. And they're like, oh, I'm so yeah. tired. I'm like, dude, remember yesterday? You're so excited about this bang. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Hey, wait, question for you, because we haven't had you on. I mean, it's a very physical foul territory today mm -hmm. since uh, Jose Ramirez versus Tim Anderson. So um, what were your thoughts on on that whole situation being that, you know, you spent some time in the American League Central. You faced both of those guys plenty. Um, obviously, Tim likes to, you know, have fun, talk, get after it, make you know that, that he's around. Um, 
Jose Ramirez is like the opposite. Dude, I mean, and you can tell me differently, but everyone's always like, he's pretty quiet, just kind of does his thing, like a lead by example guy, not a talker. Obviously, he didn't necessarily want to be in a brawl like that, but we had Andre Semenez on the other day who was like, hey, he felt like he needed to take a stand for the ball club because this had been brewing for a while and then it really escalated during that series. Yeah. Um, I won't, I guess, I, I won't get into. I guess my thoughts on the whole thing, but I, I, I was happy to see guys that have problems drop it and settle it um, instead of waiting for your teammates to get in between and then start chirping and, and pushing and acting like you're going to go get somebody. If you got a problem, settle it. And um, I was, I was, that was the one part of it that I was, I was, um, you know, pretty excited to see. <laughs> very, very, very politically yes, correct. Yes, very politically very, correct. Very, very PC. Well, was, As a guy that's still playing, yeah. I get it. 100% good. Hey, they got, into some, they got into some action early. We talked about it earlier this season with the Yanks, but you guys are old news now. The Yanks are more interested in, in getting into it with the Rays these days. So. Witt didn't have any problem with the Cleveland infield back in the day. No, you guys beat our brakes in. We had, we had, uh, <laughs> we had no issues. <laughs> With Kip, no. Well, who would you say? Who would you say in all, all your time period was like kind of a, a team that that you had that kind of real rivalry going? There's the historic rivalries, but the actual rivalries that take place on the field, like Yankees Rays, is, is an example of one that's actually been going on for a while now. Where it's not it's not the Yankees Red Sox history, but I think Yankees Rays right now, those two teams like legitimately have beef with each other. Yeah, I mean. There, there's, there's being with Toronto. There, there's the AL East is very just so competitive that um, there's stuff that seems to. When you're that competitive, you're always gonna get on each other's nerves, and and, and it's a uh, it's a more tense situation. So we've had times with the Yankees. Uh, we've had times with Tampa and Boston. Um, but really, I, I would I would say the biggest. Um, rivalry that we've had since I've been here in Toronto has been Seattle. Um, you know, we've, for whatever reason, uh, they really don't like us. I think it's because when we play there, it's, it's, it's half Blue Jay fans. Um, I think that rubs them the wrong way. I think earlier this year, they were actually selling Toronto stuff in our, in our, in their team store, uh, which was a wild move, but that, you know, not that we did. Um, but they seem to chirp us, uh, a lot more than any other team when they when they do something good and and and, um, and uh, it stems back from last year and so that that I would say that's the biggest rivalry that um, I've had since I've been in Toronto. Should should that be allowed? Should teams be allowed to sell other teams' jerseys when you come into town? And like I know it's not you guys. I know you weren't unpacking boxes and hanging Vladdy Junior jerseys up, but. I, I, I mean, you're on the team. I guess you can do whatever you want if you're on the team. But, uh, I mean, not the best look, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you hear you, – so Seawald on – Paul Seawald on this show a lot. And he was uh, – he gave us the full-on breakdown of what happened. Him and J.P. Crawford went to whoever is more in charge and said, get that shit out of here. We don't want it here right now. And made a stink about it. And they said the whole team felt that way. They were like – Stop selling their stuff here. Makes sense to me. Yeah. I wouldn't be happy if, you know, the Yankees came to town and the Blue Jays were selling Judge jerseys in the team store. I just, yeah, that's, uh, I've never heard that before. So that's, that's, that's an interesting uh, way to go about it, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Otani. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Otani might be different. Otani might be the only one where I was like, you know what? We're selling Otani jerseys. Okay, I get it. That might be the only one. And then he punches you out three times, and you're like, maybe you shouldn't. He's throwing <laughs> yeah. his jersey. He goes deep in the same game. Yeah. yeah. Here's here's my question for you. You know, you're you're talking about this. You're talking about frustrations. Brady Singer was on here not long ago, and he said that his invitation to your golf tournament got lost in the email and or the snail mail. <laughs> and so he said, when you have wit on, ask him if I'm going to get invited, and he believes he is not. Listen. I, I wish you'd have told me because I'd have had this pulled up already. But okay, solid. we can stall. We can yeah, stall. I, Give us the text. I was, at, I, was at, I was at Brady's bachelor party when his agent and myself came up with this idea 
for this golf tournament. One, Brady's about to have a child uh, relatively soon. So his wife would not let him leave the house for four days to go play in a golf tournament. There's no way that would happen. Two, Brady's um, not – I mean, he's an okay golfer, but I've got a lot of golf stories about Brady that he – he did not want to embarrass himself in front of um, other major leaguers. And he told me that point blank. He, and he laughed and said, there's no way I'm coming and playing in that thing. And I said, okay. And uh, so the fact that he wants to throw me under the bus like that, I, I just <laughs> – I hope he – I hope Tori, his wife, holds that baby in just enough time for them because she's supposed to deliver right around the time they come to Toronto uh, next week. So I'm hoping she holds it in and he gets to Toronto so I can, uh, I can let him know how I feel about throwing me <laughs> to the bus, you guys. <laughs> let him know with the No, bat. you're going to let him know like when you get up there in the box? Yeah. And, and you take him deep and you're going to be like, yeah, throw me under the bus again. There's your invite. Yeah. <laughs> if I take that man deep <laughs> – I, I don't Heart, I don't I don't know what would happen. It would be it would be uh, it would take me about two and a half minutes to get around the bases. I, I don't, <laughs> it, it I pray that happens. I just I pray that happens. So do I now. Yeah. Yeah. Will you put your money where your mouth is? Like do something. Just, will will you will you like be do your slowest home run trot ever and do some type of celebration that you've never done before? A hundred percent. There's no doubt about it. But at the same time, if I strike out, then that would be the worst case scenario. <laughs> so. well you can dude you're gonna face them multiple times if you face yeah, them like out. you go one for three with a homer and a strikeout i mean that's a dub won't matter. won't matter if i strike out i'll never hear the end of it wait did you, Swing. Guys, face, you guys didn't face each other in college did you no he's young he's a lot, a lot younger than me. i was gonna say because yeah. there has to be some background here no no what's what's got age on him uh, he'd have been a uh, he'd, have been a, he'd, have been a, he'd have been a second or third rounder if he'd have faced the game cox when i was there i want to finish with this because this is new too you got a uh, davis schneider H how's that is that a cool story for you to see because of what it took for you to get to the bigs and it took too long i can say it i know you won't but to see someone like that put in his time and then get up to the show and have some early success with you guys yeah, definitely. The, dude, the guy wasn't even in, even in big league camp. Um, he was just coming up to back up and uh, just killed it this year in AAA. Um, came up with that mustache front and center. Uh, just this little scrappy guy wearing Dad Force Ones. And <laughs> he plays with a glove, an infield glove that he got from the lost and found at the facility he was teaching lessons at. And it's it's just, I mean, the guy is, he is the nicest, like, humblest, most down-to-earth guy you've ever met. And he just steps up there, you know, like like it's nothing, and just wax balls. He's just little, just little, little jersey muscle ball, just just hammer <laughs> ball. And uh, it's, been, it's been really cool to see. And it has been a, frankly, it's been a spark that this team needed. So um, would love for him to continue to do what he's doing uh, for the rest of the season. Did you say dad force ones? Dad force ones. I'm sure you got some for sure. I don't. I'm a, I'm a new balance guy. So awesome. I got my, yeah, I got my new balance. My feet are, my feet are comfortable, but, but what are, what are the dad force ones? So, so we all know we can go out and get some. Uh, the, AJ's I mean, a Nike guy. I actually don't know what model they are, but they're, if you, if you imagine a dad going to mow his grass in some white Nike, like, Shoes, that's what they are. Dude, those are the monarchs, bro. Those are monarchs. Hey. Hey. The monarchs. <laughs> knows them. Don't, and, don't, and by the way, also, don't give me that new balance. Like, new balance is so much more dad than Nike ever thought about yeah. being. Okay, yeah. ask the kids. I'm just saying. I mean, Go there's a the lot kids. more kids rocking Air Force Ones. Otani is, new balance. Otani is wearing new balance. Oh, thanks, Whit. Appreciate well, it. There it is. Judge is true. wearing Jordan. That's true. Wait, I, quick question on Schneider. Does he still have that glove? Is he still using that as his gamer? Or did did he get another one? Also, like, I mean, there's a lot of rich dudes on your team. Is anyone, like, hooking him up with a glove, some gear, at least a dinner or something? 
Uh, he look. I, I'm sure he can get a new glove, and I don't think he wants to get a new glove. That's that's part of that's part of what makes him him. So, uh, okay, we've got that. We've got so we've got rookie dress up coming up next road trip, and I've got a great uh, a nice nice little costume picked out for him. It's gonna be good. <laughs> You're gonna dress him up like a big leaguer, since he already dresses up like rookie dress up. That'd be a good one. Uh, that'd be a good one. Like a Gucci. No, we're uh, or something. He's uh he's been he's been the talk of the, I mean you should hear the ovations this man's getting already it's 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 he's the talk of the town Canada loves him I like that can we get one hint of what the dress up is like is there a theme or even just like a hint to that theme No just the mustache is just his look it, it, it kind of fit it perfectly so Dude, put look. him in a Canadian tuxedo I'll send you a denim bro send you a picture yeah Wait I actually have a guess but I don't know it isn't it doesn't one of the dudes i don't want i don't want to ruin him. the surprise for him so don't guess yeah yeah all yeah, right all i right. won't guess i won't guess um all right wait great catching up dude we'll get you again in a few weeks and hopefully we'll talk to you post brady singer at we'll, we will be watching that matchup yeah, that will be our we, circle on the calendar i matchup. need toronto in the playoffs too because i haven't been to toronto in a while so okay toronto in the oh playoffs. we'll get into that too get them get them on a heater and we'll catch you again in a few that'd be great cheers we'll, see you wait. we'll talk to you soon dude. yep see you with Merrifield All-Star.